Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time y'all are tuning in. I appreciate y'all are here. Uh, today I'm going to be participating in an open tag. It's called Stag Sunday. It was put out by Rasputin's Castle. He has a great channel. Y'all go check him out. Um, but I have four great knives to show off, and I hope y'all enjoy. It's a case shark tooth, 1979. Stag handle. <laughs> Ain't that a beautiful knife? I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous. Never been used. And if it's anything is near mint or mint condition, this is it. I picked this up at a state sale. I bought a, a bunch of knives at one time, so I really can't tell you how much I gave for it, but I know my book here. I know y'all probably get tired of me saying my book, but this is like the Bible to me and for knives, but it has a page mark. But here it is right here. 5197 LSP 1 dot. That's a 79 stag. Back in the year 2000, is worth a hundred. It's worth a hundred dot. It was worth a hundred dollars. There she is right there. But ain't that a beautiful, beautiful knife. Now, I will never use this knife. I will never use this knife. It will always be kept up. And my boys will have to decide who's going to get this knife one day. As you can tell, it's a one dot. See how the case is spelled? With a, a regular S, C-A-S-E. One dot. That is a 1979. Beautiful knife. Just look at that bone. <laughs> Beautiful. I mean, I could just sit here and hold it all day. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Let's see what right there. Sharks too. Mm, mm, mm. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Put that one right there. I have a quite a few knives to talk about. It ain't gonna be very long though. I don't wanna bore y'all today. Now here is another knife that's never been used, but I love this knife too. It's a, uh, a, it's a trapper lock. Got the paperwork and everything. There's the paperwork. I usually don't buy new knives, but time to time I will, especially the way this one looks. Check that beauty out. Mm -mm. Look at that. Ain't that a pretty knife? Check that bone out right there. Mm -mm. Ain't that a beautiful, beautiful knife? The 2008, see the two dots there? Again, they start off with 10 at the beginning of the decade, and uh, they take away one every year. But she is a beautiful knife. I just like the design of this knife, too. Uh, again, I'll never use this knife. It's just too pretty to me. That's why I like to find them older knives, fix them up, and, and, and carry those. But this is a beautiful knife. I just want to show it off. All right, the next knife I picked up at a flea market, believe it or not. <laughs> uh, but you won't believe the craftsmanship on this knife and sheath. Um, I gave 
five bucks for it. Uh, the guy that was selling it didn't know who made it. And, uh, but it's just unreal. It's made to wear around your neck. It's like a little, I call a, a bushcraft knife. But here it is. Look, look at the craftsmanship on that sheath there. See how they stitched it? Check that out. Beautiful, beautiful knife. See the string? You're supposed to wear it around your neck. But uh, what he did, he took deer, bone, a kitchen knife now, put a new edge on it, but it is sharp as a razor. But this is a USA made, Ontario Knife Company made in USA. I absolutely love this knife. Brass pins. See how they, they cut it and they stuck that down in there? Then they fill this gap up with wood here. I mean, ain't that a beautiful knife? I'm actually going to take this knife to the Georgia Bushcraft Gathering up in Watkinsville, Georgia. Next weekend where I'm going to be camping all weekend and meeting knife folks and going to classes and I just can't wait for that. Uh, but I absolutely love this knife. Man, it's beautiful. Alright, and the next knife. The next knife. I redone this knife. It's a, um, a fixed blade. You can watch it in one of the, 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 the videos on how I done that. I'll put a tag up here somewhere. And a friend of mine that I used to work with made this sheath. And here it is here. This is a, a Remington RH71 that I found at a flea market. Gave five bucks for it. I redid this tip here because it was somebody had already redone the tip. It was a broad head there. But uh, I redone this and absolutely love this knife. Let's see? RH-71 straight line Remington but uh, it turned out really good pitching your hand good it's blades nice and strong but uh absolutely love this knife I'm gonna be using this knife too I'm gonna wear it on my side up there I'm gonna use it up there then when I get back going into my collection I might just go ahead and give this to my grandson. He's six. Not right now. Probably between eight and ten. But I'll probably give this knife to him. Beautiful, beautiful knife. Well, guys, that's my stag Sunday. Thank you, uh, Rasputin's Castle, for starting this, I believe. And I do want to do a, another shout-out. It's a great guy. I forgot to give him a shout-out yesterday and Saturday's Stockman Stampede. That's Terry's Knives and Man Stuff. He's a great guy. He shares some good stuff. And uh, he's going to be giving a knife away when he reaches 500 subscribers. So he's he's almost there. So y'all go over there and help him out. But it's Terry's Knives and Man Stuff. He, about like I do, he loves Zippos, EDC stuff, and he shows off some good knives. So, uh, y'all have a great day, guys. God bless y'all. And until we meet again, y'all stay sharp. Mm -hmm.